Hey everybody, it's Jim and welcome back to another lesson of Introduction to Corn Shell. So we've gone over tests you can do on numbers and tests you can do on strings. Now I want to do tests you can do on files. And the format is something like this. Notice that we're using the square, double square brackets, the same double square brackets that we used for the string test. And you're going to want to put the spaces in just like in the string test. However, in the string test we did is variable a test as an equal to not equal to another variable or a string on the right hand side. In this case we just have one file and we have a test we want to do on it. So in this case the dash a means any type of file. In other words, it's a file, a directory, a socket, a pipe, a named file, anything you could imagine. A stands for anything. Basically, it just means you're testing to see does the file exist. It could be any type of file, but you're testing to see if it exists. And you better hope that this file exists because that's how you log into the system. Without it, the system doesn't know what users there are to log in. So once again, think of the dash A test as any type of file. The next test we'll look at is we want to see is a file a regular file. In other words, it's not a directory, it's not a symbolic link, it's an actual file that has text in it, or it's an actual file that is an executable binary file. In that case, you'd use dash F for file and then you would give it a file name to test. In this case, the bin slash ksh, that is an executable. It's not a text file, but it is executable, so therefore this test comes out as true. And by executable, I mean binary file. Okay, let's see if we can find a directory. The test for that is dash d, and then object name, in this case, we're testing to see if slash Etsy is a directory. It is a directory. So this test would come out true. However, if we put in dash D slash Etsy slash PASSWD, which we just determined was a file and not a directory, then this test would come out false. Now our next test is we want to see if something is a symbolic link or a shortcut. And to do that you use a capital L and in this case this file on my operating system is in fact a symbolic link to another file so this test would come out true. Symbolic links aren't actual files they're just shortcuts to another file just like you have shortcuts on your desktop. Next thing we want to look at is does a file have size or data in it? That would be dash s for size. Now if the file exists but it's empty then this test right here would come out false. However if it has even just one character in it, one bit of data, then it would come out true. Okay. So, to test to see if a file is empty or ha is zero size, you would do something like this. You would do the NOT operator in front of the size test. And please note that these parentheses are totally optional. I just put them there because in my mind it makes this statement easier to read. I'm saying that this file we're going to run the size test on it and then we're going to take the opposite of that. In other words, if this test has a size then this test is false. If this test has no size then this test is true. Now you want to look to see if you can if you can read the file. 
That would be the dash R test. If the object happens to be a directory, then you can do an LS on the directory if you have read permission to that directory. However, you cannot do an ls-l unless you have execute permission on that directory. I don't know why, it's just that way. The next test we'll look at is can you write to the file? That would be the dash w test. If it's a directory we're talking about, then you can write to the directory. In other words, you can add files to it or you can remove files from it. However, you also do need execute permission on that directory because you want to execute commands within that directory or on that directory, I should say. The next test we'll look at is can you execute a file? That will be the dash x test. If it's a directory right here, then that means that you can execute commands on the directory such as you can cd into the directory. You can do an ls-l on the directory. And if you also have write permission to the directory, then you can perform a rm on that directory. Are you the owner of a file? That will be the dash capital O. Is your primary group the owner of the file? That will be a dash capital G. Okay, now these two tests below do require two files. In this case, it says file 1 is newer than file 2. In other words, it's younger than, it's been updated more recently than file 2. And this last test is file 1 older than file 2.